Let's drill down now on the implications of these last-minute regulations on the crypto landscape. Joining me now is William Quigley, one of the co-founders of the stablecoin Tether, the co-founder of GoCoin, and VC firm Cryptocurrency Partners. William, you heard what Ilan just said in terms of the debate up on Capitol Hill. What is the issue here right now from the cryptocurrency industry's perspective? What's the problem with this bill? So you have, you have two uh, broad issues. One is uh, a revenue enhancement uh, part of the infrastructure bill, and this would be to tax crypto more than it's taxed now. And the other is uh, how the IRS in the United States will figure out which transactions are happening, by who, and so who actually owes the, these tax bills. Uh, the 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 fact that there will be potentially thirty billion dollars of taxes that will be collected uh, over the next few years as a result of better tax compliance that it's hard to debate with because there's no underlying uh, uh, assumptions built around that so somebody put in a figure in there uh, but we're not sure where it came from as far as the tax compliance goes there's there's always been an assumption that uh, cryptocurrencies uh, aid in the evasion of, of taxes. And while there's almost no evidence to support that, that's an assumption. And it's because it's anonymous. Who buys and who sells can be anonymous, not always. So what this infrastructure bill is, is suggesting is that we start to do a lot more reporting akin to what you see, let's say, when you open a bank account or when you do a stock trade. So what we call KYC, which is know your customer, this is uh, uh, sort of procedures that would be submitting your identification, uh, letting the crypto exchange that's selling your currency know who you are so that they can file reports with the IRS. Uh, the, that's not controversial because it turns out most businesses that are taking in uh, money in order to do something in crypto, they have to know who you are anyway, simply to make sure that there's not fraud, identity fraud or, or credit card fraud. The, the issue is more around who in this blockchain industry is going to be required to report. And if there is a centralized business like an exchange that has people you talk to who can request this, it's fine. But there's a number of things in blockchain where it's just software that you're, you're interacting with. It's a smart contract. Uh, in those situations, there is no individual who is operating that 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 piece of software who could do the collection and the reporting. And so, uh, I think it's more of an education problem for the uh, the Senate to understand this, so that they don't disrupt the entire cryptocurrency industry by asking for something that's simply not capable of being produced. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.